Oh, okay guys, so here we are in Tower Effect. I like it better. Um, and I want to say this right off the bat. Treasure's Tower is not a bad game at all. It would be a really good game if um Tower Effect didn't already exist. Because since Tower Effect did exist, I mean does exist, um, Treasure's Tower is just a complete clone of it. With a few modifications. But yeah, if Tower Effect never existed, I it, Treacherous Tower would 100% be on the front page, 100%. It would did it would deserve to be there. But like, here's the thing. So I was going through that, and then there was one section called Wheel Wheel. And it was gray, right? And then I was going, and there was another section called Wheel Wheel, but this time it was green. So I don't know about that. Um, but let's compare the games. Okay, so one thing I realized right off the bat with um, Treacherous Tower was that in Treacherous Tower, uh, when you hop up onto here, this actually sped up really fast. And if Tower of Heck was like a year younger, I, I really would have wanted that in the game. Because I remember playing this game, like when it first got popular. But here's the thing. When it first got popular, you had to walk up all of these. And there was no ladder. But now that there is a ladder, I think the ladder is actually a faster way than the um the speed conveyor. So going up, uh that's one point for um tower effect. Okay. Next we have actual gameplay. So in Tower of Heck, uh you can buy uh modifiers that will benefit the um players like you can buy low gravity or invincibility or something like that for uh little coins. But in Treacherous Tower, all these things are random. And they don't even last the entire time. They just last for like a few minutes. I think they last for, um, they last for less than five minutes. And, um, yeah, they're completely random. And as you saw, one was like this trampoline thing, which I think was useless because most of the time when you used it, you would hit something that you would hit a kill brick and you would die. So, for mod, oh, and uh, in Tower Effect they actually have, well, the uh, coils, the gravity coil, the speed coil, the fusion coil, they have all of those. But in, um, in Treacherous Tower, I have none of those. Uh, it's only the little modifiers you get. There's no coins or anything. So, oh, there is actually coils, but you have to buy them with Robux, which I don't think is a good deal. Because in Tower of Heck, just by getting to a certain point, uh, you get white souls, which you can then use to buy modifiers for the tower, or you can use to buy coils, stuff like that. So, for modifiers, another point for Tower Effect. Okay, so now we get to the actual gameplay aspects. So in Tower Effect, you have eight minutes to get through like seven sections, I think it normally is, with no checkpoints. So if you fall or if you die, you have to start over. But 
And so you're constantly under the stress that you might not make it in time and you might not win. But in Treacherous Tower, they have no time limit. It's just whenever three people reach the top. I, I don't like that. Uh, there is the modifiers that, um, not the modifiers, the, uh, yeah, where it modifies the sections. I don't really like that. Because if you're on it, then, like, let's say you just join the server and the first section is going to get modified. And you don't realize that it's going to get modified. So when you're still on it, it gets modified. You're going to fall and you're going to have to start over from a completely new one. Um, and the only time I felt actually stressed in um, Treacherous Tower was when... Uh, I was on a phase I was going to be modified or there were two out of three people and somebody was almost at the top already. And I like the feeling of the stress. It gives you more of a rush and excitement in the game. So for gameplay, another point for Tower Effect. Now here we're going to look at... Oh, wait, that was the final section, actually. So, Tower of Heck got one point for gameplay. Tower of Heck got one point for modifiers. Tower of Heck got one point for going up, for getting to the tower. Those are the three sections. The final score was... Three, two, zero, Tower of Hell, Tower of Heck, taking the win. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Every like and every subscriber helps the channel out a ton. I'll see you guys next time. Super X Sam.